All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Outer Wilds, part number 10, continuing on. And um, last time out, we found the stranger. The stranger was lurking in space. And um, yeah, that was, it's quite, quite the explorational, explorationatory thing. I don't know. It's quite, it's quite the thing to actually look at and to, um, to go around. So um, yeah really excited to jump in a little bit more we don't really know too much about this uh this this people like we can't understand their text and their scriptures or anything so it's um it's kind of a little bit weird really to know fully understand what they are i'm just going to call them like the deer people for now because they kind of look a bit like uh, a deer so um yeah we're going to explore the the stranger a bit more and um find out hopefully a little bit more about the deer people through some more of the reels that we'll hopefully find and um i i have got some questions about this but i don't i, I don't know that i particularly want to ask them yet or, or bring the com topic of conversation up maybe until we've um, completed the playthrough so um uh yeah i don't want to get into it too much at the moment but without further ado guys let us jump in to some more Outer Wilds. All right, let's, um, oh, hi Quantum Moon. Hi Moon. Uh, all right, so let's, um, first things first, let's jump on up to the um, ship and just recheck the message log and everything just to make sure we know full well what we are doing here. Oh, hey, it appears there. Look, there it is. Look, look at that. Uh, right, so rumor mode. What have we got? So, okay, hall breach. Yeah, so that's the position. We saw this on one of the slides um, in the last episode at like a 10 o'clock position on one of the sides of the, um, the outer side of the ship. Something blew up or something hit the ship. So uh, we're going to go and take a look at that at some point. We've also got the sealed vault. Now, we've seen some reels about this on how we might potentially be able to open it. Um, we've seen how they closed it, but not how they open it. So, um, I don't know if it's a case of maybe, I don't know if it's a case of like putting out the lights somehow. Not that I've seen the lights or anything, but that would be interesting. And then the island tower, this is where we got to before the last loop kind of took over. And it's kind of like where I want to pick things up again tonight we found a reel and we didn't really get to look at it because we ran out of time and the water was coming in and actually collapsed the tower and i think in the end we actually got stuck in the tower didn't we um but yeah this is um this is definitely where i want to start my explor explorations tonight we're going to focus our attention on the stranger and then um, of course we will um do other things depending on how and what we actually end up doing. So uh, let's uh, jump in and head off. And away we go. Oh, I thought I was just about to reset the controller there, but uh, not needed. Not needed at all. All right. And let's match velocity. Roll ourselves around. Also, um, it doesn't look like there's any damage on this side of the stranger, so I'm going to take a guess and say. It's on the other side. Perfect landing as always. Excellent. All right, so we're over by the dam again. Let's 
So we want to be going to that building over there, that uh, round building over there. Airboat, yeah. <laughs> there will always be an airboat. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's... Um, could have probably done with uh, jumping off the raft in a little bit of a better position here, but it's all good. Let's, uh, <laughs> same concept, Mika. Same concept. We've actually been through, or maybe we have been through here, but it's been completely destroyed when we came through here before. So the entrance to where, or where we need to be, of course, is around the back. There is an entrance somewhere around the back. Um, oh, hold on. I wonder if it. Uh, I wonder if it's even accessible. Are you in the right place? Yeah, no, I am in the right place. I wonder if it's only um, accessible there once the dam bursts its banks. Hmm. Yo, Leo, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Dan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Big thump. Trying to think, I'm not going to be able to get into here until something happens. Hmm. Okay, so I was going to actually save that question, but um, since you've kind of, since you've kind of touched on it, Leo. Um, I have a, as I say, it's a suspicion. I have a feeling or a thought that the stranger is the DLC, right? Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to wait for the uh, the dam event to occur before I can do anything here. I don't think I, I can't. There, there was an there was an entrance way at the back of that tower. And for some reason, I can't find it. This um, 
this like temple and shrine as well to like the eye. Kind of reminds me of the um, reminds me of the uh, the Temple of Time from uh, Zelda for some reason. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I've explored most of the places. There's probably still some stuff over on that side there that I haven't explored. Potentially. Um, hmm. <laughs> You're not confirming that the stranger is DLC, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that's that's um, that's my suspicion. Anyway, that the stranger is DLC. Well, that's that. That's something else I was gonna touch on, though, LB. And I was gonna say, you know, if this is the DLC part, they have done an absolutely fantastic job of seamlessly integrating it into the game. Because you would never know. You would never know it wasn't part of the main game. If I'm honest. Hmm. I think I've. You know what, I've come over here, but I'm pretty sure, actually. I've... Pretty sure I explored this whole area. I guess I ain't getting up there. Like that, anyway. I have to say though, these um, this race of creatures is um, certainly like intriguing. How's the dam doing? Mm, I can't tell from over here if it's uh about to blow or not. I suppose here I just want to double check that we... Yeah, we've got the, I mean, we still don't really know what we're doing with the artifact, do we? We saw on one of the... We saw on one of the reels that they... They kind of went to one of the, like, circular pillar structures and then they interact they had some sort of light in the middle of this thing and they kind of like focused it so my hunch or or my thought process at least on that is something along the lines of is it a way that they can travel have they all traveled to another location Or have they all just passed away and whatever's happened within this stranger ship or um, colony? I, I don't know what sort of like the best, I'm not really sure what the best um, way to describe it would be. I guess colony. Uh, okay, we're going to have to drop this and...
think we're safe. Yeah, this brings me out on the other side. I do believe there was a shortcut though, wasn't there? I think so. Missed it. Alright, so we got this. Okay, so we never... We didn't actually find another code for this one, did we? There goes the dam. Yeah, so Okay, that's that's the shortcut back to there, that's fair enough. So I thought there was a shortcut somewhere to it. So I'm not entirely sure as the water gushes in. We're not entirely sure what the code is for this, unless and I haven't kept a record of it, unless it is the same code we use for the other one, unless it's only like one code for all of them could be a possibility now, wasn't there a raft down here somewhere maybe not anymore All right, so maybe we need to head back. Um, let's head back. Try and jump on the raft. And as well as that, we'll see if we can't... a raft down there. We'll see if we can't um, head back at some point and get that code again. If I can remember where it was. Yeah, it's unsurprising. Miss Iron. I've had a posture check. I really need to like pay more attention. Thanks for the posture check, Iron. I will stand up really straight until my back hurts and I can no longer do it. Just for you. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. That code was up here, wasn't it? Running, running, running. The problem is now, I fear I've probably deviated too far now away from that tower. And when the time comes, I think I'm not going to be in a position anymore to get... Oh, damn it. I'm not going to be in a position anymore to get the uh, information I want from the tower. I think I've possibly wasted too much time now, but we'll see. So, the... was in... Uh, 
It's in here, wasn't it? Right, let me screen grab that. Just to keep that for reference on the next loop. Interesting that though, that like it automatically gets the scout out for you there. Find that um a little bizarre. Also mistakes were made. Let's see if we can uh, navigate these rapids. We're dead. We're not dead. Dead we are not, but stuck we are. This is our life. I'm just going to admit defeat on that loop, and we'll just start again. You know what, I just realised I could do something here to help me. Um, what page have we got activated here? Um... Quick maths from somebody. Well, how many how many seconds is twenty two minutes? Um, six hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred and twenty. Is that right? Thirteen hundred and twenty. Uh, yeah, thirteen hundred and twenty. I just realized on um, on my stream deck, I can actually set a timer. I know obviously the timer and things stops when I um, read text and do certain bits and pieces. But if I set the timer, at least I can have a rough idea of how much time I've got left in a loop. Come on, Evan, quick maths. I thought you was in the top set of maths at school. Yeah, 22 minutes. There we go. My timer is set. The timer is running. Fantastic. Yeah, Mike's the maths man. What's going on, Coco? How you doing? Welcome along. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, portal day. We actually re we actually restructured. We did a um, we did a very long portal stream on Thursday. Uh, we actually ended up streaming for about five and a half hours. Um, the vod or the rerun is of that is actually on um, YouTube, and we actually got through I think eleven maps I think in total on that stream. The thing is for me, and I'm sure LB is the same because um, uh, computers and programming and stuff, but there's a cer there's certain sets of numbers that you just like remember and you can um, you can reel off like nobody's business. Like the whole um, 2, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 256, 512, 10, 24, 248 sort of thing, because they're all um, computer-based numbers. But then other, th other times I'm not so hot with numbers, so... To be fair though, seconds are pretty easy. 
if you just remember that there's 600, 600 seconds in 10 minutes, then six times tables, add on the two zeros, and then add on your extras on top of that. So, you know, one plus one. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Evan, that you're going to follow... That, that you're good in maths and you're going to follow in my footsteps. <laughs> Everybody knows one plus one equals window. Everybody knows it. You're all wrong. And if you don't believe me and you want proof, go and write it down on a bit of paper. One plus one equals window. Confirmed. No, no, it, it definitely doesn't equal Windows 11. That's for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, um, we'll head back and we're going to go and see if we can unlock that other area with this same code. If not, then we need to be going to have an investigation as to see where where this next code is hidden. Because I haven't seen any areas where it might be located. Which is interesting. <laughs> Windows 2. I don't actually think there was a Windows 2. The first one I had was 3.1. There might there probably was a Windows uh a Windows 2. Uh around the back of the tree, was it? Trying to do it without the scout launcher. No. Left, then right, that's it. Alright, so let's head back into here. Let's see. Cue spooky music. Okay, so is this code the same? So it would be Sun I Flame. I blame. For a different sun. Interesting though there that the um the ship log updated. So it almost looks like there's something behind that sun panel there, doesn't there? There's a crack in the wall just there. It's interesting, there's a chain there. Okay, so there is another code set to find somewhere. So it's interesting that there's like a chain there. I don't know if there's something maybe outside underneath. Alright, no worries, man. Catch you later. See you in the morning, dude.
You find it easier than 10? Uh, I have some nitpicks with it. Some stuff that just seems to have, like, disappeared, which is very frustrating. I, I use the, um... I use snipping tool. It's, it's a really minor thing as well, but I use snipping tool a lot just to take pictures of, like, screenshots and stuff as I'm working through different bits and pieces. And for some reason, they've, like, removed the um, ability to take multiple uh, at the same time. You now have to save them. If you don't save them and you take another one, it just overwrites the original one. Um, luckily, though, I have the multiple... Um, I have the, the clipboard history on, so I can always get it back from there, because when you do a use snipping tool, it um, automatically copies it to the clipboard, so I can get it that way, but it's just like little, little gripes I have with it. There's loads of other little bits and pieces, but I'm not here to, uh, I'm not here to have a rant about it. Windows 11. Not today. I make this across here? Surely I can. This would save me a lot of trouble having to like go all the way around. Did you blue screen or did you black screen? Although I did, I did hear actually that um, they were bringing the they they are bringing blue screen back. The blue screen of death is going to return because they they have made it black. If I if I recall correctly. That's a pretty big jump, isn't it? That's a pretty big jump. I'm not sure then, LB. I'm pretty sure I read on like some of the industry news on my some of my industry news emails the uh, last week or the week before that they were changing it back to a blue screen. But I may be wrong. Have trust in your trusters. <laughs> oh, maybe I can get into it from here. Okay. Ah, so don't have to wait for it to get destroyed. Interesting. Ah, oh, possibly there, but I'm, not, I'm honestly I'm not sure. I didn't um, read too much around it as to whether it was all builds or whatnot. So. Okay, we're back here. Now, this is what we're interested in. This slide reel here. About ten and a half minutes left on this loop. So, let's make haste. The dam hasn't quite gone yet. Could be, be a quite good indicator actually having the having the timer on. Be a good indicator of like when the dam bursts. That's assuming it's at a set time, which I kind of assume it will be. But knowing this now, obviously it won't, it won't be so much of a rush even if we don't make it this time. OK, 
Because now knowing we can like get to it from below. It saves us a lot of time. Oh wait a second, I don't think... Oh no, I'm not, not, not going to go down that path again or else I'm going to get... Um, I go to dam. So dam goes about nine minutes left to go. I'm not going to go down that route again because... Last time I went down that route, it got clipped. <laughs> I do think. I think that this doesn't have... Now this is like... Um, the best way to kind of describe it crazy is it's a bit like a colony. No worries, Mika. This is actually kind of... This is like a... It's actually a ship. But... It's like a little colony inside a ship. Is the best way I can kind of describe what I... F well, the way I see it, anyway. Pick up the lantern. So is that a secret passageway? Secret passageway in one of the towers where there's like a picture of Saturn for lack of a better description. But that's not this tower, is it? Or is it? Maybe it is. Alright, so they're all going into the tower. Okay. So... It's a little bit soggy that way. Let's go... over here. Wasn't that one? Okay. Did I look out then? Because like in one of the early episodes, we definitely like came to one of these areas. Oh, the fire's lit. Uh, spooky time. Spooky time. All right, but we haven't got the... We don't have the artifact. Did you do a color change, Coco? Uh, just give me to the end of this loop, and as soon as I get to the end of this loop, I'll take a look and sort that. Okay, so... Um... The problem is here, I don't know, or I don't think that we've got access to any artifacts here, unless there is an artifact hidden.
Surely there must be a way in there from... No? Oh, it's there. Okay. Not unless there's an artifact in here. Which it appears there is not. That'd be weird. Okay. Okay, so. We've got like three minutes left on the loop. Um, I think the best the best thing to do here is just to reset the loop and come back, grab the artifact, and then head on into here. That's what we're uh, that's what we're going to do here. What do I do? Oh. Where's my... I have to change my hotkey for my... Um... I need a new camera. No, I don't need a new camera. This camera is actually... Um... It's actually... Uh... What a lot of people use. It's the Logitech C920, I think it is. It's actually a really good camera, so... No, it's just something weird. I, I don't know if something is set up or it's just like how it picks up the colour or what, but... So that crazy. Enjoy. I know we got some stuff on the log there, but I just want to get straight back to the stranger if I can and um, pick up one of those artifacts and see what we can do. Yeah, I, it, it probably is. It's a little bit frustrating that um, the settings don't persist on OBS, so I have to change like the focus settings each time. And even if I use the Logitech, I think it's like the Logitech G app or whatever it's called, um, even then, it still kind of doesn't persist the settings. So it's it's quite frustrating. Hence why a lot of the time we are. Um, resetting stuff soon after I go live because I haven't remembered to uh, do it pre-going live. Okay, closest artifact is just over here. The ghost master says, You shall not pass. Epic. Your epicness. Pretty dead. Oh, 
Welcome back, Mika. It's Mika, the man, the myth, the legend. kind of feel akin to Buzz Lightyear's logic a lot of the time. It's it's not flying, it's just falling with <laughs> falling with style. That's how we uh, That's how we rock. Alright. Let's a little bit more cautious this time. I think we went in from below last time, didn't we? Yes, that's right. Alright, pick up the artifact. Alright, to the tower we go. Everything's fine. No need to panic. So, let's go see if we can't uh, use this over here then, shall we? I am intrigued though whether or not there are other areas that we can use these things on as well. Ha, huh, okay. I'm not spooked. Um. Wait a second, I've traveled to their planet. Thank you. 
Was that me making those noises? I sure hope so. some strange noises. There is definitely somebody else walking around here. I say somebody. Should really say something else. So we can, this is basically what we saw. Um, okay. So we're dreaming. I didn't even realize there for a moment though that I haven't got my my jetpack. So that's where it was a minute ago. And we've just made this appear, right? So is it like a bit of a maze sort of thing where Okay, there's a raft. Can I get on the raft? Yes, I can. Looks like it's in a, going to a set place, though. Interesting uh, thing if somebody could scare the player by screaming in these kinds of situations. You think that would be funny, Mika? I'm not so sure, that would be funny. <laughs> okay. Was that just to call another raft? Okay, I think that's just a call on a raft. And I don't know if that means that the... I don't know if that comes from a different location. Or if it's... Like, uh, sorry, let me know. I don't, don't know if that's on the same path as the, um, the other one was on. Uh, 
Oh. Oh. They had one of the, so what is this thing here? That just brings us another That brings us another raft again. Alright, so I'm a little bit a little bit confused here. This seems like their home planet, right? So somehow we have traveled or we're dreaming about their home planet. And they have this big structure here that we've seen in The Stranger, which seems to be concealing something. Now, is this the same structure? So look at the size of them chairs, man. Oh, are we one of the three that's going to lock the seal? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look at the size of the chairs. Um, I don't like the sound of that. What is that even connected to? What is that chain connected to? Just like connected to thin air. Oh, wait a minute, was that noise the dam breaking? No, it's a bit late for the dam breaking. We're about seven minutes left on the, the regular loop, so... I don't know if, like, the loop, the time in the loop stands still. That just calls another ship.
a little uh, unnerving that I kind of like walked over here and lights started to turn on and appear. Missed an area there. Unless I can come back to here. I think I've missed something. I think I'm back to the start, aren't I? Maybe. Okay, so All right, let's um let's head back a little bit and see if we can't get back to that area there. Again, I, I don't know at this point whether or not the, the loop is still active. Well, we're still on the time limit. Or whether this part of the game actually deviates from that. There was another interesting thing there, though, that um, this bit here... I feel like there's more to this. All right, so maybe just a, there's a, obviously a way up to there. Well, we'll find out very shortly because there's only uh, about two and a half minutes left of the loop if uh, we are on the loop, so we will find out relatively shortly. But there's some um, buildings and whatnot up there, and I guess that's the elevator platform down to there. So that'll be like a quick travel kind of... I guess that's a bit like a jetty that they could use to get down from above onto this water network. The thing is like with this area at the minute as well is like it's it's pretty I feel it's pretty linear in that because we don't have our jetpack, there's not really much, there's only so much deviating off the path we can do because we can't like fly around or, or do anything like that. So right, that's where we got to before. Okay, question answered. Question answered. 
That makes sense, I guess, now as to why that happens right there at the end of the loop. Okay. So, now, Mika, thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. Have a good one. Catch you next week. So, yeah, I guess the, um, the fact that the... Um, the fact that the tower collapses right at the end there, right at the end of the loop, is like a way that it kind of, like, wakes you up. And brings you back to here so the loop can end as normal. Which is quite interesting. Well, we don't need to... Uh, we don't need to worry about the loop there. Need to see the rest of the loop out, do we? Okay. I think we need to look at the log a minute. There's a lot more we've just uncovered here. Look for people on solar, I'm nice suspended by chains. I saw a green burning fire inside a vision light recording of two figures in a strange vault materializing next to a green fire. The two figures picked up the vault and carried it down the stairwell. Um, yeah, that's just about the seal vault which you already knew. There's an interface upstairs that can be used to line up symbols in the vertical sequence. Yeah, but we don't know what the sequence is. Kind of side reel that's strange inhabitants inhabitants open a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown filling into the Filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. A road of raft that densely wood, wooded stretch of river. I can see buildings along the banks of the river. Excluded business within a cove. Candlelit tower sits atop a nearby island. There's more to explore here. Okay, so we need to really explore this village here as well. The one where we actually um, jump into for a start. Road a raft through the bottom of a massive canyon. It looks like there is a building set into the cliff face high above. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about previously. With regards to where that um, lift seems to come down. Do I have notes on the end of any of... Well, yeah, I did the... There is one note I have got written, which is about... Um, the uh, damage that happened to the vessel which is at like a 10 o'clock position um, other than that uh, I haven't made any other notes This could be problematic.
which side has taken the damage? This side, I guess. I don't know if that's indicating damage or if that's just because it's like rubbing against here. I think it's just because it's close to there. Oh, the ultra pilot's damaged, but minor thing. Who needs the autopilot, right? Nothing wrong with my flying skills. Perfect landing every time. Perfect. Probably should have uh, refueled my uh, jetpack before I left, but it's all right. It's all good. I'm not sure where we've come in here. Um, we've come in where there's no artifacts, actually. Which is a bit of a shame. I do just want to check, though, something real quick. I wonder if there's more than one entrance point. Yeah. I think then I inadvertently found this once before. Um, because I remember coming into one of these previously and this being open and then being a bit miffed the next time I came round here and it wasn't open. Um, okay, it's down here, isn't it? The place where we can get the artifact from. It's over here. Yikes, a bit close. I'm quite interested actually as to whether or not this puts me at the same position or if it uh, takes me somewhere else. I'm assuming it's the former. No. Okay. 
Okay, that's interesting. We can light candles. Oh, we're here. Okay. We're actually in that other location. Oh. I saw movement. Oh. I saw people moving. Well, I say I saw people moving. I saw lanterns moving. Ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmer of light. All right. Then we're gonna get our first glimpse of this, these creatures, for better or for worse soon. Place are spooky, I tell ya. Okay. I have to say they did a fantastic job of like the the atmosphere and the ambience here. Like I don't know what I'm meant to be expecting and what I'm meant to be finding, but it's um Got me pretty spooked and on edge. I 
Oh. Well, I guess we find out now whether they're friendly or hostile. Okay. So Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I think the problem here is Yeah. If I understand what's gone on here then, because I've used this one, this one has now been waterlogged. So... So, okay, so... I think what's happened here is because the dam's broke, this one's been waterlogged, so therefore we can no longer... Because the because the flame's been extinguished. We've used the flame from this tower. And because this flame has been extinguished, we get brought back to here because it's the flame that takes us to there, uh, to that place. Um, so, interestingly, there's that. Secondly, obviously, it seems... I wouldn't say they're hostile, um, but they are definitely don't want us there. So they are extinguishing our flame themselves, thus sending us back to this location here. But there's definitely... It definitely seems like there is... Alright, Leo, no worries. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Take it easy. There is definitely, um, or it definitely seems like, there is benefits to using one or more of the towers. I'm not going to get up there, am I? Let's, let's be realistic. And this may kill me. Unless I can get up to here. I think I've been up this way before, actually. Okay, so, I know we read some of the ship logs when we first started this loop, however, we've only got about five minutes left until the loop restarts. Is it worth, is it worth starting again? I guess that landing was a bit slippy. Slippy as a frog. Oh, 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 wrong one. Sorry, I'll be. Sorry. <laughs> Nintendo game? Uh... Doesn't ring a bell.
Alright, so we've done that bit. We've been here before. I wonder if this takes me down to where... Oh no. I was about to say, I wonder if this takes me to where... That like platform was that didn't really seem to go to anywhere. So this looks like it's some sort of alarm system, right? Let's do it over there. So this would be a case of having to extinguish things as we go here. Ah, oh, extinguish my own flame. Idiot. And here goes the tower. Okay. That was my alarm to say that um, my loop's nearly done. Okay. So... Oh, Star Fox. I never played Star Fox. All right, so interestingly here, we need to i don't know this 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 whole place like seems so like it's it's really quite vast to explore there's a lot to this to it and there's like multiple entry points to like get started and stuff here as well so Also, I'm just looking. Let's see if I could identify. Where it took that damage.
pretty sure it was like one of these areas here, wasn't it? Yeah. It must be on the other side. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so that's where we've just come through. This is Big Brother. Okay. No, I don't. I, I don't want to watch it again. No. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So can't do anything there. It seems. Because there's no flame. We've got a slide reel here, though. Okay. Not really sure what I can take from that at the moment.
Okay, so this is another way in. If I, I, hold on, hold on. Oh, we're here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, I think this reel is going to tell me how to create my own flame in the artifact. Have I missed the shortcut? Oh yeah, the uh, the actual slide rooms on the uh, the other thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, jeez. I need a lantern. I need a lantern. Might as well take that one, because why not? Yeah, I think this is going to tell me how to take a lantern and convert the... convert it into one of the artifacts, maybe. Ah, okay. Hence your comment then, I suppose, about uh, me skipping, skipping forward, right? It makes perfect sense now. Okay, so it's not what I it's not what I thought it was going to be. But I'm glad that we sort of tidied up that little loose end. The problem is now, however, the dam is about to blow.
Right, so this is entry point number three. So I'm guessing the trick to these guys is try and keep everything as dark as possible. Almost like a guitar light looking instrument okay this is a dead end no it's not Okay, seems like they've like had some they've had some sort of concert or something here. to the lower area here. Almost looks like a big sort of communal hall or something. The fact that it sounds like doors are opening, very unnerving. So it must be a way to the lower path somehow. I guess normally you would go through that door. I 
don't know if I want to risk just jumping down. Got about four minutes left of the loop. Maybe a little bit more because we watched a. Um, well, we're gone now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know. Maybe we can't get down there from here. Ah, this is like directly above there. Okay, that's interesting. It's very interesting. So I wonder if there's like an elevator somewhere that we can leverage. Leads straight down to there from there. So, the, yeah, the elevator's right there. That's where that is. Oh, you've missed everything, Deathwish. You have missed absolutely everything. Hope you're well there, buddy. We are in a completely different time and place right now. Well, I don't know about time, but definitely a different place. Yes, yeah, sleepy, sleepy time stream. Not got tired, went to sleep, the end. Uh, I've just come back on myself, haven't I? Um, I mean, if you want to know, Deathwish, basically in short, we've, um, we was continuing to explore the um, stranger that we'd, um, were, that we found and we were exploring in the last episode. Is there a bridge or something? Maybe with light I can, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, in short, we've explored the stranger, and we've actually found out how to, um, how to travel to the place. Oh, this variation on the, uh, sorry, this like variation on the, on the tune. Oh. Oh! So yeah, basically, we, the, there's this other race of people that were aboard the Stranger, and we found out a way to travel to their planet. I believe it's their planet, their, where they actually come from. Which we have now done. 
and we're currently just exploring their planet just to see what we can do. We've, we've come up against one of them just to see whether or not they were hostile or not and although they don't kill us they blow out our light like we're not meant to be here which then sends us back to where we came from. But yeah, the version of this song is like... Yeah, a bit like that. Yeah, I guess you could um, could reference that, yeah, and... and... Yeah, it's really impressive. Really, really impressive, Deathwish, I agree. All right, so we've just found a new a new way there that we can use those other um we can use those other mechanics. Or well, those other tools, sorry. To um access different areas so hopefully I can get straight to the that hull breach the hull breach is where we need to really be going I think here to be able to like quickly get back to that um, to their their place, their their planet, and uh, to keep um, investigating that a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure as we approach the stranger here, that breach is on this side. I'm pretty sure. Which will put it like over here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, whoopsie. Take that. Smooth as I agree. They don't come much better than that, Deathwish. Let's be honest. I'm glad you approve. Yeah, you know, I think if software development uh, ever stops working out for me, I'm definitely there. Safe as houses in my hands, I tell you. Safe as houses. And, okay. 
So we need to activate the bridge. Head back in. And then use that, um, see if, well, see if we can remember how, at least, to use that, um, where's that transportation thing? Oh, I need to go down level. Then use it. Okay. There is already, um, there is already, I know there's, um, there's already some web generators, some website generators that you can basically type in in English what you want your website to do and what you want it to be. And it will actually create the website for you based on a an English description, which is quite mad. Yeah. We've all seen the films. What are they even watching? I'm a little bit spooked, like I can't see that per that thing that was sat there. A bit spooky. Okay, that's our way back. That's how we get back across to where we just came from. That was the weird electrical glitch thing happening. on the uh, stranger. As I thought, yep, there is a, now a bridge there that we can use to get across that gap.
Spooky music. What are you talking about? What I'm holding or what's on the floor, Deathwish? I was thinking there, is there a way to extinguish those candles there, though? Because um, that's obviously the, the secret picture with a door. I wonder if there's a way into there. It's a bridge, isn't it? Or am I missing something here? So this just takes me back to here. Surely there's more to explore up there. Interesting cave down there. Okay, well, it looks like there isn't anything else here. We activated the bridge. Yeah, but... So kind of... In that respect, then, I feel like I've exhausted everything that's available to me here. Although I can... Is that cave there? Yeah, other than that cave. Oh, yikes. <laughs> well, I uh, won't be doing that again.
Lesson learned. Tired. So what I'm thinking is... There's a way... Obviously everything is connected here. But there is a way that we can... Um, there's a way that we can almost like go from one tower to another tower. I want to double check like everything's done here. So I'm almost thinking like what or, or like the, the best way to do this is to, to come in via that breach and then use the elevator to come down to here to get onto this other path here. I mean, you know what? I don't want to check that because there was a weird sound when I was up here before, but I think thinking back, the weird sound was actually the... Um, either the dam breaking or the water gushing through or something like that. But the, the difference here is because we've used the because of where the tower we've used we can effectively explore a little bit more because this tower doesn't get waterlogged and our flame won't get extinguished. We just need to find the right route through everything here um, just so, well, not the, the right route through here, but we need to find like the most optimal route through route through here to be able to properly progress. That door is shut. I'm pretty sure that was, well, this is, sorry, the only thing we can do over here, isn't it? From this point. So from here, we would want to go all the way back through to the village. Yeah, you see there's a tower there. Not sure how we get to that though. There's nowhere else off the raft at this point, so we would have to go, I think, to the village. Uh, I think I missed my, uh, I think I missed my stop, didn't I?
Yeah, I missed my stop. Yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. <laughs> Even on my um on the chat box. But that's what I thought it was too. just for the raft, wasn't it? I think you pretty much can, Deathwish. I'm sure you can hover over emotes and it'll tell you what they are. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Then, I guess not. Oh. Wait a second. Found a floor with this. I didn't miss the, the way off here at all. The building is invisible. Ha. Okay, the building's invisible, therefore I can't stop here at the moment. So... So what does that mean? Do we have to go to the... Um, do we have to go to the other towers, for some of the other towers first and then come back here? But then that would be... I don't know, that would almost seem a bit counterproductive. As to like, why would it give us a fast travel way down to here? Because the problem is, um, the problem is, I don't 
to know what the problem is. Okay, well we've cleared off a few bits and pieces here. into the cliff face found me of a large tree at the bottom floor of the lodge or two free test chambers sector has bad damage which can be entered through the whole breach yep 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 yep, yep. Uh, okay the well at the bottom of the village is guarded by a statue that activates the alarm bells when it sees me and thank you my sql Yeah, so, um, What I need to do I need to almost link some of these places together So I think what I would need to do is go there first, activate that building, okay, start my timer. It's not going to be completely accurate. But shouldn't be too far off. Okay. There's the lab. I want to be in this one. Perfect landing. Okay, so we go through here, this one,
now here. Not sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, so we're on a 22 minute loop, Deathwish. So we have 22 minutes to basically accomplish whatever we need to do. But obviously as we play, the, the more we play, and the more we learn, the quicker we get at doing certain tasks as we understand more about what needs to be done, so... Okay. No! Don't want to do that. Okay. Do I need to... Does this need to be in darkness? What am I not doing right here? Oh, okay. But... I assumed it would just be like taking me like over there. That's what I assumed. I guess it's just another fast travel to here from another location, right? Okay.
The problem is though, I don't really then see what the point of me coming over here was for. Yes, I've lit some candles. Unless that like shows me away something else over here that I couldn't see before, perhaps. Alright, so now I've done that. Okay, so now I've done that. I'm thinking now I need to go back to the other one. Okay. I suppose I could just jump into the water to extinguish the flame. Now I would need to go to the one where we get loads of time bought for us, right? left to do what we need to do. Okay. So now we're going to go over here, go up to this bit. Jump in the elevator, go up to the shrine up here. So the only thing I'm like, the only thing I'm really like worried about like doing this though is that I'm wasting too much time kind of going through bits and pieces. Granted I was doing some, a little bit of um, exploration there. But I've taken the best part of like 11, uh, sorry, uh, 13 minutes to do that. So. Okay, so I need a bridge.
I'm still a bit like, I, I still don't quite know what, what is kind of, what's happen, what's happening right, right now. I assume my physical self is still on the stranger. And I assume it's just my like conscious self or my conscience, which is like coming back to here. But what's interesting is obviously when we look at the the actual native uh, people who are in those um, round buildings who have also travelled like we have they look pretty dead. So we don't really or we don't fully understand or know what's like happened to them. And that's a bit baffling to me at the moment. Clearly your physical self remains where you can send your mind or your your conscious self to this location. Okay, so now having done what I did initially at the next location, we should be able to jump off. Now we've turned the lights off and I'm just really interested to see here whether or not there is actually anything different that's happened. If not, then I think we're probably going to, the best thing probably to do now would be to abandon this loop. So this is where we were from the other location. And we nearly completely missed it, which would have been disastrous. Yes. Okay. Oh, we're just back here. Oh, how disappointing. How disappointing. Okay, it didn't bring me to where I thought I was going to be brought to. I don't see how that's going to help me progress. The only difference is we're in a we've come from a different location here, haven't we? Yeah, it reminds me of the witness. 
the bamboo. No, not the area under the treehouse, the um the area near the sound puzzles. Also the music stopped. That's interesting. Hold on. There's one here. The one somewhere else on this side? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Not stupid. Yeah, I figured it out. And of course we find something of interest right as the timer has finished. Right as the timer has finished. <sighs> okay. So. So, um, I'm just trying to think about my routing through there. I feel like I feel like what I did was the correct thing. How many green fires have I found? Um I think I've been to all four of them.
Well, I think I've been to four of them, assuming there is four, because there's four main areas in The Stranger. There's the one that we've just been using right um, where the hull breach is. Then there's the... Um, There's the one in the in the area just down by the dam, which is just like a normal like shack. There's the one in the big cylindrical building that falls over, and where's the other one? Which one have been to four? I could swear I've been to four, but honestly, I, I don't know. I've been here, there, and everywhere tonight. So the Hidden Gorge, is we've definitely been to that one. Oh, we've been in the Reservoir. We've probably not been to the one at the Reservoir. If there is one there. We've been to this one because this one is um, at one of the entry points. The ghost, the ghost matter building with the artifact is down here. So we've been, we have been to that one. We've been to that one. So if any, maybe this one. Uh, this would be, reservoir would be the high side of the dam, wouldn't it? Because, yeah, the River Lowlands is just, yeah, that's where we come in, just near the, um, that's just near the dam. We come in just to the uh, right of the lower dam, then we've got the Ghost Matter building where we get the artifact from, that leads into that. So, yeah, okay, if anywhere, then it's there. All right, I just got a real... I really need to pack up, but let's um, let's just really quickly go. And check this out. Um, just to see. And then, yeah, we will, uh, I will be uh, calling the stream. I call in the stream, but it went to voicemail. Big rip. Oh, 
man. The last time I called you on stream, Deathwish, it cost me like nearly, I think it cost me like nearly four pound for the privilege for a 55 second call. <laughs> Yes, whether there's anything here. The other thought I had, or just had, is... There's nothing over this side, is there? here, isn't it? I don't know exactly where this is going to put us. This is going to put us... I believe no it's not More codes. Sure, we should be doing this. But we find three codes, we can unlock those. I assume we find the three codes, we unlock those locks, and then we can open up whatever this is. Second. This is a... It's one in there.
Okay. Okay. There's uh there's secret stuff going on here. Uh so we need to explore room back of uh tower. I'll know what that means. But we also need to, um, looking at that though, we need to work out how we can turn off the lights. And I'm pretty sure that, if we just have a, like another look at that a minute. This door on here, I'm pretty sure was the same door we found in one of the buildings. When we went into that, like what I said was like a communal area, there was a door at the bottom with the lights either side. And I'm sure it was exactly the same thing. And I, 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 I mentioned there because it had the picture of like Saturn, which is the one that we used to uncover all the other ones. I said, I wonder if there's a way to turn off the lights. So there is a way to turn off the lights and we need to try and understand what that is. But unfortunately that will be a job for the next stream guys because I am out of time. Thank you very much everybody for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support. It's been uh, an absolute blast as always having you for the ride. We'll be back on Wednesday night with some more Outer Wilds exploring this um, very strange planet just a little bit more so uh, yeah really looking forward to getting back to it hope you can join me but until next time guys thank you very much for tuning in I've been Nock you've been awesome and until next time as always stay safe and happy gaming thanks guys bye bye